Hi all, my name is Mass Barnkop from Kaiser Power Electronics and today we're taking a look at this good old Merlin Shering Master Pack 16N1. It is a 1600 amp circuit breaker. I'm going to do some high speed photography of this where we try to switch off 4 kilojoules of capacitor energy into something and then maybe do some high speed filming down into the spark arrestor area. This is going to be awesome. So this is the high-speed test setup. We have the 4 kilojoule 2500 microfarads discharge capacitor sitting here, being charged up to 2 kilovolts. We have the big master-packed 1600 amp switch sitting over here, securely um, fastened to the table. We have a small Easter Bunny foil-wrapped figure sitting over here as our test subject. And we have the arc chimney removed from the switch over here in order to film with the high-speed camera from this angle. If we try to turn on the um, lights needed for the high-speed photography, we can see that this quite overfloods the whole scene with light, but that is necessary in order to get a good view inside the switching area. So I will just get the bank charged and then we will do some test firing and see what happens. Charging the capacitor bank, passing one kilojoule, and we are going up to four kilojoule of energy. It takes quite a while to charge it fully. Then I will let go of the uh, spring trigger here and let it rest and the circuit is still open and we will do the final switching with the large contactor. Okay, like that. Charge is completed. High speed camera is rolling. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> So for a second test, I have a Merlin Shering C10 mini circuit breaker, a normal household breaker, one phase plus neutral. And over here we have a circuit breaker. And that is actually the explanation for the MCB or mini circuit breaker having its name, that this is a original circuit breaker. So we did not get enough um, sparks in the spark arrestor area of the circuit breaker before, so I think it's because most of the energy was dissipated over here in the explosion with the little bunny. So we'll try with something a little more sturdy and hope that we will actually see some spark formation over here in the switch. But it does close pretty efficiently. It is designed to suppress sparks, so it is no wonder that it actually works. Power supply is on. And we are judging. One kilojoule of energy. Two kilojoule. And then going up to the total of four kilojoules of charge. Not that we will normally dissipate everything in one discharge as the circuit is broken and the energy from the capacitor will stop flowing. So here we are. Fully charged bank, switch this closed. That exploded pretty well. Let's just get a close up of that. Let us take a closer look at the 
Merlin Shering C10, which was exploded with the larger circuit breaker. Now you can see here we are missing the release coil that was wrapped all around this small cylinder here. This is what releases the whole trigger mechanism. And we can also see that up here there's a lot of burn marks and yeah, burn damage to a lot of the copper parts. But what is really interesting is that a lot of this coil disappeared down through this plastic base into the next module. And that looks pretty awesome. So let's just get this broken apart and check that out. <laughs> That's insane. That really exploded in that direction. That really, really did destroy the module next to it. And as we can see here, all the shrapnel we have getting out here, that is the rest of the copper coil. Let's see what we get coming out of this module. Okay, so that went everywhere. Okay, as we can see here, this is the non-conducting side looks nice and clean and if we compare that to the side we actually did switch 50 kiloamps through it's not hard to see that the whole fuse element was evaporated completely gone melted onto everything but what really strikes me is that look at that coil that huge dent right there that is just from the impact of the explosion of the other coil over here no current was conducted through this it can't even move anymore whereas the other one that actually uh, still has its spring action so that's quite an impact force exerted onto the other spring so thank you for watching this was an awesome test and i will definitely yeah look into keeping this despite it's quite a big switch to keep around just to do a little short circuit test once in a while but it is a fun switcher this one this big circuit breaker here so i really hope you enjoy the high speed photography because that really turned out great especially the last mini circuit breaker here that's just fantastic we can just quickly take a small peek here of it that's just it's just awesome i i'm i'm empty of words so until next time see ya